Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, it's Polyester here, and this is another episode of Merch Corner, where we talk about in real life Dead by Daylight merchandise that you can buy. And if you watched my stream last Monday, you saw that we opened live on stream this box of goodies that we got from the Dead by Daylight shop, and we got this postcard here with the stickers on the reverse side, we got the Gas Heaven Journal which you can keep all of your ideas for the uh, the Survivor Rulebook handy in there. And we got a couple of these uh, these shot glasses here for DBD. Let me see, I got one out of the box there. You can see the logo etched on the shot glass. Two shot glasses. And what else did we get? We got this deck of cards, which I'll go into more detail on that in a minute. And then we got this spiffy minimalist Oni t-shirt. Yamoka's Wrath. This was actually designed by a fan, and uh, Dead by Daylight bought the rights to uh, make it into uh, merchandise in the shop. They're always looking for talented artists out there who think that they can create designs for um, t-shirts and such for merchandise. So if you have some talent and fit that uh, prerequisite, contact Dead by Daylight, submit some of your ideas, and, the, and if uh, they think it's good enough, they'll be more than happy to buy the designs from you to make merchandise. So anyway, so um, when we had that live stream, it was right when we had the announcement of the, the ending of the Stranger Things license, and everybody was a little scattered and needed to collect their thoughts and process the whole idea of, in November, not being able to buy the Stranger Things characters anymore. So I feel like the merchandise got a little lost in the shuffle. So today we're going to um, do a little quick video. We're not going to go through the whole merch shop like we did on Monday. But I've just picked out about 10 of my favorite things to show y'all. And let y'all know that right here on the screen, we have this 10% off discount that you can use to save money on everything in the shop. I don't get a cut of any of your sales. So, um, you know, it's not like I'm profiting from whatever you buy. But I just want to make y'all aware that this promotion is on and you can save 10% off on everything in the shop. Let's go in the shop and I'll show you what some of my personal favorites are that you can buy. Hands down, best item in my opinion is this trapper mask right here. I own two of these. It's on sale right now, it's 25% off and you can use my discount code to get an additional 10% off on this price. So I don't think you're ever gonna get it any cheaper. Uh, I bought this mask years ago from the, the first merchandise store back in 2017 when it was located in Germany. And I remember paying something like 60 euro for it. And uh, when, it, when it went on sale one other time here in the new merchandise shop, I jumped on this price because if anything ever went wrong with my first mask, I wanted to have a backup because the price was so good. Survivor's worst nightmare come to life. This trapper mask is sure to endow you with brutal strength and unnerving presence. This mask is way better than the Trick or Treat Studios mask. No disrespect, Trick or Treat, but your mask looks like a squash peanut. This is a great mask. Here it is right here. I have used this on, you know, photo shoots before for Dead by Daylight content. And you just, it has this little back plate here. You just put that on the back of my head and then pull it down into place. And boom, there you go. There's your trapper mask. It's, it's a nice fit. It has just that right amount of flexibility and firmness to it. And uh, yeah, I think it, it looks great. It's a great mask. Can't go wrong at this price. And I'll show you right here as I fix my hair that um, my code using my name polyester here gives you that additional 10% off. There it is, polyester. And it's $26.96 instead of $29.95. So the discount code definitely works on this item. Cannot give this a um, high enough recommendation. It's... It's the best item in the shop for your value. Second best item, in my opinion, for the value uh, is this ace in the hole deck of cards here. And that is what comes in this cellophane wrapper here. It's a standard deck of playing cards. But then, at the same time, it's not. Because this is another fan design item. Evil Cat Robot worked on all of these cards. And every card is a little profile of our favorite original survivors the kings we got dwight jake david king appropriately jeff so handsome and then the queens we have meg claudette nea and kate 
Then your jacks are Min, Adam, Jane, and Yui. Interestingly, Evil Cat Robot was able to find out the identity of Yui before she even came to the game because they had like one extra spot for the face cards to make into a survivor. And so they let her in on Yui's identity and had to sign an NDA and not... So they knew before anybody who Yui was, which is pretty cool. And then the aces are all different variations of Ace Visconti. There's Tuxedo Ace. And then the Jokers, trust me, I'm a survivor, are both Legion, black and white and in color. And then uh, the... The regular numbered cards are just scratched up, but this is one of the coolest items, in my opinion, best value for your money because you get all these little tiny portraits of artwork, miniature pieces of artwork of all our survivors in the palm of your hand. I think this is this is the best item. If the Trapper Mask wasn't on sale, this would be my number one pick. If you're going to get one thing, I would get this. I think it's such a cool item. Let's see. Hey, who who's this guy? There's King. He's showing off all of the cards there. Let's see. There's all of those face cards. They're so cool. All right, moving on. Let's see. Uh, third pick. This I have too. This is the Med Kit Lunchbox. Pretty cool item. Eight by six by three. Classic thin lunchbox. This kit details a classic retro design for a large part but has its finishing design done in a much more modern way to give a truly unique piece so it has all of this distressing rust on it which makes it a, a really really cool item um just like our survivors rock in the fog uh, i would actually rate this higher on the list however this uh this application is all a sticker and mine it might be just mine Mine had a problematic application where there's some bubbles right here. Let me see if I catch the light just right. You might be able to see, see those bubbles there. So that kind of detracts from it a little bit for me. If I didn't have bubbling on my sticker, this would be best item in the shop. Like it, it's so cool with all that rust distressing logo on the back. I love it. It's just, a, it's, it's a, a really cool item. Only thing that hurts it is that sticker application. Hopefully mine is an isolated incident but just be aware that that may be an issue that you have if yours comes in. Um, you know, it's a little unfortunate for mine, but it isn't a deal breaker. I still love it. So that's why I still rank it towards the top on my list. Next, my favorite shirt of all time, this Trapper T. This is the bloodletting shirt. Um, this cosmetic actually exists in game on Dwight. It's a very rare cosmetic. They gave it away back in 2017 when they first started the merch shop. If you made a purchase in the initial merch store, you got this, this cosmetic in-game for your Dwight. Can't get it anymore. But uh, the thing I really love about it is the graphic on this. So I don't know if you could tell. If you look close at this graphic, this is just a, an amazing design piece here. Not only is it the trapper's face in red, but if you look closely, you can see the tiny survivors here around the nose of the mass suffering and the crows in the sky and the claws it is just an amazing uh, design. Whoever came up with this, I don't know if it was Philip. I want to say it was Philip, but uh, it may not be. But I love, love the design of the bloodletting shirt. That's my favorite shirt of all time. And it's one of the more inexpensive shirts from the shop. Highest recommendation on that shirt. This is the 50th anniversary tee. Now it doesn't look like much from the front. Very minimalist with the uh, the slash marks over where your pocket would be. But the back is what really makes it with this 50th anniversary logo on the back. I don't have this myself, but I plan on getting it. Very cool shirt. And a sizing isn't a problem. This goes all the way from small to, well, it looks like 6XL is sold out. Some of these larger sizes are sold out, but keep an eye on them because they come in and out of stock all the time, which I'll be able to show you by the end of this video. Next, same thing. This is very minimalist. This is the Gas Heaven Retro T-shirt. Just says staff on the front. They also have a button-down version of this, but for me, the T-shirt is enough. 
And on the back, this is what makes this, is this Gas Heaven Last Stop on the left logo. This one, it, it has such a cool back on it. And uh, my wife generally doesn't like to be seen with me in public in Dead by Daylight merchandise. She would rather me wear other things out. But she has laid this shirt out for me multiple times. Said, will you wear this shirt today? I really like this shirt. So it gets my wife's top approval. Her favorite shirt. She just loves the staff shirt for some reason. I'm like, okay, I'll wear it because I think it's really cool. Next, well, I have to do this one because this is the <laughs> this is the shirt I wore um, last year that they when they, we did uh, one of these merchandise campaigns. They gave me a code to share with all of you. They sent me this shirt, and um, this is Monitor and Abuse Perk T-shirt, and it's great. Like, the, the material, the softness of the material, it still holds up. Around the neck, it's a little pilly, but it's like a year later, and I've washed it two dozen times since I've had it, so you can't expect it to last forever. But the, the graphic on the front looks brand new. There's no graphic wear on it at all. Just a little bit of that lint pills, little balls you get around the around the neck. Uh, from where but the a year later the graphic still looks great who's that guy okay enough of that <laughs> that was my shirt picture i took last year but uh yeah i have to rep that one now this shirt would be higher on the list this would be probably my second favorite shirt except for the fact that it's out of stock well as i said keep your eyes on the the stock because the stuff in here comes in and out of stock all the time this is the pop goes the weasel t-shirt and the reason why i value this one so highly I, I have this shirt it's upstairs i should have brought it so i could show you is that it glows in the dark which is such a cool <laughs> feature for any of the shirts here that they have so glow in the dark pop goes the weasel shirt gets highest recommendation from me except it's uh, all the sizes are out of stock because it's so cool but keep your eyes on this it may come back in stock now this is a new um magic mug we had a magic mug before that went from white from black to white it was black and it, it turned white when uh had hot liquids in it and it revealed the dead by daylight logo on it i have that mug upstairs we have a new magic mug the old magic mug isn't in stock anymore at all and this one is a blood web magic mug and when it heats up then you can start to see the nodes get filled in on the blood web that's a cool item i'm probably going to get one of those for myself too and don't sleep on this drinkware if you think you like it because i've seen multiple items of drinkware that are no longer in stock the the magic mug that i talked about before you can't get anymore you also can't get this water bottle anymore so don't sleep on the the drinkware or maybe anything in the shop because once it gets phased out it doesn't look like it's coming back next we have the fifth anniversary wall hanging three foot by five foot i believe this is made out of cloth Looks like cloth here in this picture on the wall. Let's see. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the way that it's draped here, it has to be made out of cloth, I would say. I don't have this. I want to get this too. But this is a cool um, graphic of all the characters. It's the same one as the on the back of this postcard in the box here. Same image here on the wall hanging. But oddly, you know, this is like all of the characters that were released in separate dlc original characters except blight and felix aren't in this and i don't really have an explanation why but everybody else who was in their own separate dlc starting with um ace and the hag i guess they're all in here except for blight and felix so that's kind of strange but it's still a cool item and then next we have this is a little bit pricier but uh i I probably would not have gotten this except they mailed me the silver one for Fog Whispers. Fog Whispers got a special silver one. Here, I can show you the difference here. So this was a, a thank you gift for being Fog Whispers. Every Fog Whisperer got one of these in silver. And it has that fifth anniversary logo on the back. And then as, once I got this, it impressed me so much that it made me order the red one. And I was like, well, now I want the set. So it's it's a you know it's bigger than my head, which is saying something. So this is a, a fairly large pillow. You can only get the red one. The silver one was for Fog Whispers only. And it's very soft. Like, look at, oh, look at, we can make the material. You know, the movements of your hands, it's very soft. 
well done all embroidered here it's good quality but it is a pricier item so that's why i'm kind of cheap so <laughs> that's why i rank it a little bit lower and then if you were watching the stream monday one thing that we remarked on were these these are the brand new items the cat and dog t-shirts sorry sweatshirts that uh, meg and claudette wear in game they have these you can buy these in real life and when we did the unboxing on monday and we looked in the store all the cat sweatshirts were sold out like i think there was like maybe one size small was the only one that was still in stock and everything else was cleared out and i was like what the heck and everybody said well i guess the cat people beat the dog people here's the dog one from claudette's dog sitter sweatshirt you could get every size for the claudette dog dog sitter sweatshirt but meg's um cat fostering sweatshirt was sold out and for every one of these that you they sell they're going to make a one dollar donation to the montreal spca in honor of august month being uh, international dog day and international cat day um to give some money to the spca so that's cool but yeah i, I think it's not so much that the cat people won over the dog people in that the color of meg sweatshirt is a little more neutral and uh the cartoon is funnier the no food no love like the cats just want you because you they hang around with you because you feed them so i think it had maybe a superior cartoon graphic and a superior color i don't want to start a whole cat versus dogs fight here but uh yeah so if anybody watched that stream on monday and they were like wow i want that cat sweatshirt but it sold out well it's back in stock and you can use the promo code there as with all of the stuff here that's on sale in the shop of course you know you may have your own items that uh you like if i always say if everybody liked the same thing we wouldn't need menus in restaurants so there's lots and lots of items to choose from here all of which you can use the code to save your 10 percent off on but those are my top picks um have a look at the shop. I'll, I'll link uh, in the description below if you don't know where it is. It's shop.deadbydaylight.com. And that code you see there is good until August the 30th to save you that 10% off. So I'd love to save you some money. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell like a wraith so that you don't miss the next video. Don't forget to take care of each other right now in the fog. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.